So I'm recording this video on September 16th, 2021, and I do believe that Donald Trump will announce he is running for president a third time. I believe this based on a few things, one being the comment that uh, Jim Jordan revealed that Trump told him he was planning on running again, he was just waiting for the right time to announce it. Uh, another was uh, shortly after 9-11, Trump was at one of the New York, I believe it was either the firefighters or the police station, he was at one of their locations and they asked him if he was going to run again, and he said he couldn't reveal, but they would be very happy with the answer, which is kind of a dead giveaway. If Trump were to run for a third time, it would kind of be a repeat of what happened in the late 1890s with Grover Cleveland. In his first election, Grover Cleveland faced James G. Blaine, and he defeated him to win his first term. Then, in 1888, Grover Cleveland ran for re-election against Benjamin Harrison. Harrison ended up winning that election to get his first term in office. And then in the election of 1892, it was Harrison versus Cleveland for both of their second terms. Cleveland at this point had run three election cycles in a row. Cleveland ended up winning that election to become both the 22nd and 24th president of the United States. So theoretically, if Donald Trump were to run a third time and end up winning, this would not be without precedent. It would make him both the 45th and 47th president of the United States. Now, if he were to run a third time, I don't see it as impossible that he could very easily win or lose. If you remember correctly, in the 2016 election and the 2020 election, even though over 100 million votes were cast, it came down to less than 100,000 votes across about three states, and I wouldn't be surprised if the 2024 election was any different. In fact, when Grover Cleveland won his second term, he actually got less votes than he did when he lost the previous election. So the historical precedent is there. Which now one has to wonder, is Biden going to run for re-election? I believe that if Donald Trump announces he runs for re-election, that Biden will as well, because it will effectively just be a repeat of 2020, with the Democrats saying Trump is this big threat and Biden's the only one who can beat him. And the Republicans repeating all their talking points about how politicians are inefficient and Donald Trump is our outside guy and all that stuff we've been hearing for the last eight years. Now, obviously, if Grover Cleveland can do it, then Trump could possibly do it too. But there, on the other hand, you know, one has to bring up the argument that he did run against Biden and he didn't win. But then one can bring up, on the other hand, he just barely lost. So maybe if he comes at it with a new angle and new momentum, he might actually be able to win this time. Personally, though, I don't really buy that argument. I remember the 2020 election very well, and there was all the enthusiasm you could have on either side. It was, you know, peak enthusiasm from both sides. People just wanted Trump out of office, and other people wanted Trump to stay in office. We had record turnout on both sides, and I don't know how you're going to do better than record turnout, especially when after the election, all the whole January 6th happened, and, you know, that that's a topic for a separate video, but... Long story short, it did appear by all polling measures to have some impact on his uh, credibility in the Republican Party. And given that he had nearly full support in 2020 and lost, I don't know if he could go into 2024 with damaged support and manage to pull off a win. The only way he'd possibly be able to do that is if lots and lots of people just didn't come out to vote for Biden, or in most cases, against Trump. However, given people know that there's a very real possibility that Trump can win, like they probably didn't in 2016 but did take in 2020, the media will almost certainly be mostly against him and will almost certainly have public perception to be against him as, you know, a grave danger, just like they did in 2020. Something I see is very likely to happen. I don't know, and I don't actually think it's going to happen in the 2024 election, but 2028 and onward, I can very easily see... Donald Trump endorsing one of his children to run for president, most likely Ivanka or Don Jr. Now, it could possibly be a repeat of the Bushes, where the dad has one term, and then he endorses the son with the exact same name, and that son goes on to have two terms. It could be a repeat of that. Or, Ivanka Trump could end up being the first female president of the United States. Who knows? I think for the Republican Party, that would be a much better stratagem because that way they get to keep the Trump name, but without all of the negativeness that has been attached to Donald Trump himself. Not that uh, the media and opponents of the Republican Party won't try to attach that to his kids, but it might be a little easier with uh, somebody who isn't him. And that's really all I have to say about that. I just see it as very likely for Trump to run for a third term, and I don't think he should, but I think he will. 
if he does, uh, it's going to be interesting to see how it compares to Grover Cleveland's run back in the late 1800s. And I guess for now, we're just going to wait till the 2022 midterms to see how the political climate has changed from 2020.